you see, make sure the camera's on you. All right, Shalom, it's the brother Ara. Brother Nakam. From the GMS North Carolina Raleigh camp. Before we move forward, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible in Huru well. And a double shalom to all the Akim and Akwa who are truly and sincerely trusting and believing in Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The title of this lesson is called, I Love Them That Love Me. Okay? And this is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Baha Shem, through the name of Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son. They're going to show love to those of you Israelites, the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, who show love to them. But first and foremost, you want to prove what love is. You can bring it out and break it down. Okay, okay. Sure. okay. Because we live in them times, and, and, and Jake like to say they love the Lord. Well, you love the Lord by taking action and doing what the Lord's required of us to do. Okay? Ready for it? Yep. This is St. John, chapter 14, verse 15. Right, go on, go on. Yep. Whenever you bring it out, yeah, you go ahead and break it down. Got it. This is St. John, chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. That's right. And this is Lord Yahweh Shah speaking who the war ignorantly calls Jesus. And he's speaking to you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latino Americans. And he's telling you what love is. It's because you got a lot of people thinking that love is just saying the word, I love you. You know, you got a lot of people thinking that love is those heart skipping beats, those fuzzy feelings that they feel in their chest, when that's not love at all. Love according to the scriptures, love according to Lord Yahweh Shai, is that you so-called Negroes, Latino Americans, keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. That's right. Read that one more time. Mm -hmm. This is St. John chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. So that's what love is, keeping the commandments. That's right. Uh, I got one to back you up. First John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is a love of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. That's right. So it just told you what love is, again, according to the scriptures. It's to keep the commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And the commandments are not grievous, you know. So when it says grievous, it means you know it shouldn't. You shouldn't be mad. You shouldn't be upset. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be angry for wanting to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible that was set for you so-called Negroes, Latino Americans good. Mm -hmm. You see, and especially if that keeping the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible is how you show your high Bashi Masha that you love them. Matter of fact, get Leviticus 26 and 46 so we can prove that law was given to the nation of Israel. Okay. So we got to prove that that the Lord gave the statute, laws, and commandments to the nation of Israel. Okay? So it's only for the Israelites. This is exclusive to one nation of people. All right? This is Leviticus chapter 26, verse 46. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord, Yahweh Shai, made between him. Mm -hmm. And the children of Israel. Who's the children of Israel? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. The Lord only made that agreement with the Israelites, man. Okay? There's more to it? Mm-hmm. It says, in Mount Sinai. In Mount Sinai. Okay. By the hand of Moses. And Lord used Moses as a mediator. Okay? To give the statute laws and commandments to the nation of Israel. All right, what are the, some examples of the statute law, the, the laws we're supposed to keep? We're not supposed to be committing adultery, sleep with the next man's woman, and vice versa. We're not supposed to be uh, committing sodomite acts, man with man, man with man, woman with woman. All right, that goes against the law. Eating abominable food, shrimp, crab, lobster, pork, catfish, liver. All right, getting tattoos. Okay, when you find out you're Israelite, you stop doing those things. Okay, uh, what else, bro? Worshiping these false gods. Worshiping false idols. Celebrating these pagan holidays. Yep. Barring your beard, making baldness by your head. Yep. You know? Yep, so so those are some examples of, of keeping the law. If you love the Lord. You finished with that? Mm-hmm. Con. So uh, I want to bring out another precept here. First John chapter 2, verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. So if you keep in the statute of laws commandments by rehearsing righteous acts... Because we're striving to for perfection. We know we can't keep the law perfectly. All right, but we strive for perfection. We know the Lord. Okay? Verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. All right? You got these uh, false pastors and these um, 
Christian churches telling our people that uh, the law is done away with. Well, they don't they don't know the Lord. Okay, because scriptures say um, the the law endureth um, forever. Okay, and for a man's um, uh, in, uh, his whole life. Matter of fact, Romans seven and one. Yeah, yeah. If you can get that, um, mm -hmm. just to back that up, because I don't want to um, butcher, butcher it. it. Yeah, but I'm gonna read that again. It says First uh, John two and five. But so, whosoever keepeth his word. Matter of fact, um, two and four. It says, "He that saith I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him." So what is that saying? Those who are saying the law is done away with is a liar, man. They don't know how about Shemia was shot. And the truth is not in them. It doesn't reside with them. The Lord ain't dealing with them. Uh, you got it? Romans mm -hmm. 7 and 1? Mm -hmm. Yep. This is Romans chapter 7, verse 1. Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, mm -hmm. how that the law have the men over a man as long as he liveth. Yep. And we living, right? So the law has dominion over us we're supposed to keep the law now we're not going to be saved by the law okay we're going to be saved through faith lord willing we're part of that number all right but do we don't we don't um avoid the law okay read on is that yeah, it yeah that's the point okay that's the point con so going back um here's the point first john 2 and 5 but whoso keepeth his word in him verily is the love of the most high perfected so when you keep the law to the best of your ability you showing love we just proved that in First John um, five and three, Saint John fourteen and fifteen. Okay, the love of the Most High is is perfected. It says, "Hereby know we that are in Him." Okay, so that's just the back of another point. Now, the title of the lesson is, "The Lord is going to show love to those who show love to Him," and we just proved how we can show love to the Lord. Now we're going to prove in the Scriptures what's about to take place and how the Lord is going to show love to the hopeful elect, those who are, you know, um, seeking Him. Uh, what you got? Uh, looking for another one, but I can't find it. Right All right, now. well, it, if that's the case, then um, bring me Ezekiel uh, seven and twenty-five. Because okay. the scriptures say, "Rather you prophesy." So we're gonna we're gonna go into some scriptures of what's about to take place. Okay, and it's looking good. It's gonna look good for the elect, man. It's gonna look great. But for those who are not seeking the Lord and showing love to the Lord, it's not looking good for you, man. This is Ezekiel chapter seven, verse twenty-five. Destruction cometh, mm -hmm. and they shall seek peace. And there shall be none. So this is what's about to happen, man. We're living in those times, and it's going to turn up even more. Destruction, man. A lot of people are going to die. A lot of people are going to perish in the times of vengeance. The Lord is coming back. All right? The Lord is coming back, but he, but everybody he's not bringing peace to. He's only bringing peace to the elect. Okay? So that's why we're warning our people through the power and spirit of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Rekakwadash, man, to, to get right, seek the Lord, and, and show love. All right? Because this is surely coming, man, and we're living in those times. And, and these people out here seeking peace. Why, why, why would you uh, get peace from, uh, from the Lord when you, ain't, when you ain't been showing love? When you've been doing everything contrary to what's, what, what's required of us as Israelites. All right? So, um, matter of fact, uh, you about to get something? Mm -hmm. What are you about to get? St. Matthew 10, 34. 10, okay, yeah, bring that out, bro. You can break it down. Okay. This is St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. And again, this is red letter. This is Louis Howard y'all speaking. It says, think not that I am come to send peace on earth. That's right. So anybody is th that's got peace in your mind, they're thinking that nothing but good times, you know, happy hours is coming, get that out of your mind. It reads on, think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. That's Ooh. right. And Lord Yahasha, he confirmed himself. Because first he said, think not that I come to send peace. Mm -hmm. But then he goes further to say, you know, to show you that he's serious, mm -hmm. that he stands by what he means, that he's really not coming to send peace on earth. So what is he coming to bring? A sword, which is any killing instrument. You know, and that sword is going to be, you know, martial law, you know, um, um, the famine of food and thirst, teeth of wild beasts, mm -hmm. ultimately the end all beat all, the 200 million ICBM missiles, which will destroy America, right along with the chariots, which the world calls UFOs, with the concentrated fire coming from it. Yep. You see, that's the, um, the bad time, the evil that's coming upon the face of the earth. So like the brother was beautifully going into, you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, you need to show love to your high Bashim which is by what? Keeping the laws that's coming out of the Bible so that you won't have to take part in the evil that bad times is coming upon the face of the earth. Con. Let me get um Jeremiah 5 and 22. All right. And um before you bring that out, I want to bring this right quick. It says, uh, let's see, um, 2nd Ezra 15, and going into what you said, 2nd Ezra 15 and 5. 
It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, hey, any kind of inst instrument. The Lord using Esau, the so-called white man, as he's bringing out his big guns, man. Because he's in the final moments of his rulership. And a lot of our people will get caught up in the death and snares that Esau got laid out that the Lord gave him power to do. Okay? So this is the sword that the scripture is speaking of. Famine, meaning the lack of bread and the thirst for water, and the famine of his word, man, which is able to save your soul. Okay? It says death and destruction. All right? And guess what? Only love is going to be shown to the chosen. We keep saying that, man. The Lord is only going to show love and mercy to those who are showing him love. All right, well, you got it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is Saint, I mean, so like this Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 22. Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. Will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sands, the sand for, for the bounds of the sea mm -hmm. by a perpetual decree, mm -hmm. that it cannot pass it? Mm -hmm. And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they roar, Yet can they not pass over it? So this is the power we're supposed to serve, man. The, the omnipotent power is getting ready to show his power through the destruction that he's bringing forth. So we're supposed to be fearing Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, who, by by the way, controls the the ocean, how the sea uh, when it when it roars or when it when it uh, the waves go, it doesn't pass a perpetual decree the Lord set forth, which is the sand. All right, this is the power we serve. Who's getting ready to start bringing death and destruction come soon? And we're supposed to be fearing. And when you when you fear an entity uh, as such, you're gonna show love because you're gonna be motivated to do what's right, so you don't get caught up in the snares and traps, man. The, the power we serve is getting ready to start killing people at boatloads, man. That we're supposed to be fearing first and foremost, man. All right, we just brought out some of the plagues. Now, we're going to bring out um, how the Lord's going to show love. You give me Isaiah 65 and 15 if you got a precept. I, I do, but you okay. get yours first if you need one. Yeah, yeah. Remember, get um, Isaiah 65 and 15 because we mentioned a famine is going to come. The sword is going to come. And Lord even say about the sword, look, if you're doing what I, what I command you to do, you don't have to worry about Esau coming down on you. Okay, but if you don't, if you don't do what I command you to do, then expect to get put to death, man. These are the things that um, are, are coming forth, man. This is Isaiah chapter 65, 66, 65, 65. 15, yep. God. Yep. This is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 15. And you shall leave your name for a curse. 65 and 15. Let's see where you at. Yeah, right here. Oh. You mean 66, right? For the Lord will come with uh, heart. No, no, no. 65 and about my servant shall eat. Oh, okay. Um, Isn't that 13? 13. 13, yeah. The water, bro. This is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Mm -hmm. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Mm -hmm. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Mm -hmm. Verse 14. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart. And shall howl for vexation of spirit. Yeah, because the Lord is bringing um, uh, lamentation, mourning, and woes. But those that the Lord, who are the servants of the Lord, who've been showing the Lord love, they're going to eat, they're going to drink, all right? They're going to be protected, they're going to be rejoicing when all hell is breaking loose. So the Lord is going to show peace to those who have been serving Him and showing Him love. I mean, and this is a guarantee, this is a promise, man. Okay, and we know the Lord is not um, uh, slack concerning His promise. Okay, so when all this goes down, these plagues will be brought forth. The Lord is going to be showing love to those who show him love. Okay? I got, um, uh -huh, I got one more precept if you yep. don't mind. Mm -hmm, bring it out. God. You know, so so at the end of the day, the only way to be saved is through Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Those, those, those entities that you want to be on the good side of, the good gracious of, man, and show love to. This is Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel, which Israel consists of these so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, what do the Lord thy God, Yahweh Shai, require of thee? It's about to go into it. But to fear the Lord thy God. Yep, the Lord wants us to fear him first. First and foremost, man. Fear is a great motivator, the entity that uh, uh, controls all things. You no, know, the Lord literally controls everything you see happening around you, even your life. The Lord is controlling. So we need to fear him. First and foremost, go on. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways and showing love. Because when you when you perform uh, duties that's required, 
and we just prove um, what, what's um, love is mm -hmm. keeping statute laws and commandments to, your be to the best of your ability. So when you walk in the walk, you're showing love to the Lord. That's the point. And to love him. And to love him. Keeping the statute laws and commandments to the best of your ability. Walking in his ways, his, uh, which is righteousness. Okay? It says, and to serve the Lord God, Yahweh Shai, with all that heart. And with all that soul. If you love the Lord, you're going to show love by doing the best you can, putting forth your best foot as an Israelite. Okay, being sincere. And the Lord knows your 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 heart, man. He knows if you are sincere about serving him. And we just read that his servant's going to eat, man. Okay? Beautiful. You got a precept on that? If not, I'll go to some more. I can read verse 13, too. Mm -hmm, read on. Verse 13, to keep the commandments... Of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. Yeah, and, and for thy good. Okay, this is, <laughs> the Lord has commanded these things of us, and it's for our own good. And the majority of our people, they don't even know him. They don't even realize that this is a, a benefit for us. You know, uh, all hell is about to break loose, and Jake don't even realize that the, the only way out is seek, seeking the Lord. Not voting, not joining the Black Lives Matter movement. These things cannot save you from what the Lord is getting ready to bring, man. Okay? Serving the Lord is the most important thing ever in your life that you could be doing. You know? That's right. Uh, let's close off on Proverbs 8 and 17. Mm -hmm. Okay? Lord, one of those edifying to the hopeful elect, you know, the Lord is going to show love, man. He's going to show love, mercy, love and kindness. He's going to give a hedge of protection. He's going to give a shield, a fortress to those who are showing love to him. All right, sincerely doing what the Lord has requ uh, required of us to do. This is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17. I love them that love me. See, it's a give and take. You can't expect the Lord to show you love if you ain't showing him love. So the Lord said, I'm, I'm going to show you love if you're showing me love. Okay? And and love goes into mercy, loving kindness. The Lord's going to show us mercy. When he's bringing all hell down in, uh, on this place, He's going to show love to the to, to the elect, Lord, when we're part of that number. It says, and those that seek me early shall find me. And those that seek him early shall find him before all hell break loose. You know, Jake, a uh, majority of our people like to wait to the last minute, you know, procrastinate, and then they're going to start trying to show love when it's too late, man. You know? And then, hey, but look, the Lord knows your heart. So if you're seeking the Lord late, it's going to say, um, uh, Sirach 5 and 7 says, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. Mm -hmm. So seek the Lord early before it's too late. Because the only way to be saved is through Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? So with that being said, you want to say anything, brother? That's it. With that being said, before we close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And a double shalom to all the Akim and Akwath who are truly and sincerely uh, trusting and believing, showing love to the Lord, man. Shalom. Shalom.